a hot bar. Hey everyone, it's Maddie, and today I'm going to be showing you my volleyball essentials slash what's in my volleyball bag because I play volleyball and I really love it and I love talking about it and I love making videos about it so that's what I'm going to be doing today. These are just things that aren't necessarily in my volleyball bag but like they're really good to have. So obviously the first thing is going to be some sweatpants that you can wear to and from practice because you don't want to get cold and you don't want to get sick from being outside in the cold at wearing your spandex. So I have these. These are actually boys sweatpants because there are no girl sweatpants that are not leggings. And then uh, you should ch probably just have some t-shirts that you can wear to practice. I have this little uh, three quarter zip, half zip jacket which has my club name on it and this is really good because I can wear it during warm ups or I can wear it to, to practice if it's like pretty warm out. I also love to have this brush because it helps me put my ponytails up so much easier um, because you can roll it up and it like forms a ponytail a lot better than I could with just a regular brush. And then I love to have some headbands with this kind of gel on the inside because then it doesn't fall out while I'm moving and being active. Of course you need to have spandex. Everybody needs spandex for volleyball because they're they're so comfortable to move in and they are just obviously a necessity for volleyball. They're uniform. Your jerseys, number two. This is my volleyball drawer. I have so many things in it. It's just a bunch of t-shirts and spandex and everything. Um, another thing that is great to have for volleyball is some shorts that you can just pull over your spandex um, for warm-ups and just while here in the building because I know for my club they don't like you walking around in your spandex. So we are required to wear shorts over our spandex when we're walking around. And the best in there is just spandex and sweatshirts and practice shirts and everything. So those that's what's in my volleyball drawer. Now for my backpack. Here's my volleyball backpack. It is totally ripped up. You can see it right here. But I'm getting a new one, so it's all good. So um, in my backpack, there's... Not much. I do have my knee pads, which are obviously super important, especially if you're a libero because we all know you're going to be on the ground diving. So, then I have my shoes and active ankles because, yes, I'm a libero. I don't play front row. I don't have the chance of jumping up and getting stepped on by somebody on the opposite side of the net, but I do run a lot and I am very clumsy. So, and then I have these Adidas volleyball shoes, and they have obviously gel on the bottom. These are court shoes, and I got them off Amazon for $55, so that's a pretty good deal. I know my feet are big for my height. I am like 5'3", and I'm a size 9, but that's beside the point. And I have my jersey, because as a libero, I have to change jerseys depending on what color my, rig my team is wearing. Uh, I have to wear the opposite jersey of them, so I always keep both my jerseys in there just in case. I have some deodorant in here. I have a ankle like wrap in case I get hurt. And I also have another pair of practice or er, shorts to put over your spandex. I hate these ones, so I wear the black ones instead. I have team ribbons in there. Here's one. I have medicine in there because I could get a headache. I get headaches so often that it's just. I know I'm gonna need it at a volleyball tournament because of how much I move around and everything. So definitely need medicine. Not all people need medicine, but it's always a good thing to have just in case you get hurt and you need something to numb the pain, or if you have a headache and or stomach ache or whatever. That is what's in my volleyball bag. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it, and I hope that you guys can share below if you play volleyball and what position you play. I play libero, but I really want to become a hitter, and I'm going to work on it, or setter. Like, literally, I want to play all around, but, you know, not possible. <laughs> so I'm going to work on all my skills, but for now, I'm a libero this season at least. And, uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.